the graphic design on packaging sometimes makes me associate the products with specific movies. Does this happen to anyone else? There was an Applebee's cocktail a few years back that made me think of the movie This Is Spinal Tap. The advertisements for the shark-themed cocktail look so much like one of the band's album covers. If the similarity was on purpose, it was pretty brave considering the album's reception. Two-word review just said, shit sandwich. Um, <laughs> Had they print that? that? Where they print that? That's not real, is it? You can't print that. Speaking of sharks, a lot of Band-Aid packaging over the years has reminded me of the Jaws poster. So much so that it makes me wonder if they did it on purpose to create a subliminal association in consumers' minds. Have you been attacked by a shark? You're gonna need a bigger bandage. Perhaps an extra large Band-Aid brand Hydro Seal Adhesive Bandage. And then there's the Sudafed PE Sinus Pressure and Pain. The red markings on the lady's face look so much like the ones on the hockey mask from the Friday the 13th movies. That must be why Jason Voorhees is so angry all the time. It turns out he just says sinus congestion and sinus pressure. That explains his heavy breathing. We've been going about this all wrong. This Mr. Voorhees is okay. We get this guy medicine, we won't have any trouble. Sudafed PE. Get your head back where it belongs. But one such connection in my brain has now been severed with a redesign. Bitto Honey tried to update their brand. I understand the old design was pretty old fashioned, but I find the new design to be incredibly ugly. The old cartoon B was so cute. Look at this demonic creature. I'm no graphic designer, but for fun I actually combined the best elements of the old and new designs. The worst thing about the new design is it no longer reminds me of The Shining. On the old packaging, the hexagon shapes in the background always made me think of the carpet pattern in the Overlook Hotel. Remember that Room 237 movie with the nonsense theories about the movie being a confession that the moon landing was fake? Or it was about the cultural assimilation of the Native Americans or something? If they ever make a sequel, I want to be one of the people ranting in voiceover. The bit oh honey carpet pattern is indisputable proof that The Shining is about the plight of the North American honeybees. 